in this video, we're going to be talking about lighting kits for your LEGO sets. Using LED lights in mocks and on your LEGO sets is a super cool way to bring your LEGO displays to the next level. Now, I'm completely new to using these lighting kits, so I guess we'll see how this goes, but I'm super excited to see what it looks like when it's all said and done. First off, huge thank you to Laylight Go for providing this lighting kit for review. Now, they sent me the lighting kit for the UCS Super Star Destroyer, which I personally thought was one of their coolest looking ones, but they have tons of other amazing lighting kits for LEGO Star Wars sets and other themes as well. They've got anything from the UCS Razor Crest to the UCS Millennium Falcon to the UCS AT-AT to the Moss Eisley Cantina and even the Home Alone set and other sets like the Daily Bugle and the DeLorean, which I think are really, really cool. And you can also get 20% off your entire order. Just use code MJFELDY at checkout and the discount will be applied. After opening the package, there's this cool looking box and inside is a battery box and all the LED pieces you need for the installation process. Now, like I said, I have zero experience when it comes to lighting kits for Lego sets. So I was pretty nervous about how the installation process would go, but Laylight Go has PDF instructions and instructional videos on their website for all of their lighting kits. The instructional video for my particular lighting kit wasn't the best, but I got the gist of it and was still able to figure out how to install the lights. First, I laid out all the LED pieces so that the wires wouldn't get tangled up and they would be easier to install. Then I grabbed three AAA batteries to put in the battery box and turned on the lights just to make sure everything was working properly. And my UCS Super Star Destroyer was getting pretty dusty, so I decided to go ahead and dust it off a little bit before I installed the lights. Next, I removed the two large panels on either side of the Star Destroyer. And after a few simple steps, everything was ready to go. I did have some troubles trying to hide all the cords, but I ended up just using a couple pieces to hold them in place between the studs. Then all I had to do was snap the two panels back in place, as well as put a couple other pieces back on, and bada bing bada boom, that's all there was to it. Now I just finished installing all the LED lights on the Super Star Destroyer, so... Let's go ahead and turn the lights off and see how this looks. As you can see, the blue LED lights make this UCS Super Star Destroyer look amazing and super accurate to the Star Wars films. There's even a light that lights up the bridge so you can see a little bit into the section that lifts off and reveals the interior. After putting this set on display next to my Obi-Wan and Anakin mosaics, my lightsaber, and my comic books, it really adds so much depth and life to the Lego set and looks so impressive on my display and in the background of all my videos. Being my first ever experience with LEGO lighting kits, I must say the installation process was relatively self-explanatory. Now, the kit I received was pretty simple compared to some of the other lighting kits Laylight Go offers, so I'm sure that there are other kits that are way more complicated and time-consuming than this one was, but I still don't think the installation would be that bad. Overall, I really love the look of these lights on the Super Star Destroyer, and they're incorporated very elegantly into the set's design. If you're looking for a way to take your LEGO displays to the next level, I would definitely consider using lighting kits. Alright, that's going to do it for this video, but let me know down in the comments below what you think of these lighting kits. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.